Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Leotron campaign. This is episode 14. We pick it up from turn 86 in the winter season of 199. So, uh, we're just jumping back into things uh, right now. Uh, we have a pretty easy time. Uh, we basically have to defend against Cao Cao's constant invasion through the river uh, with our main army led by Liu Chong. Uh, we're going to alter these units a little bit. We're going to swap them all over to Chen Royal Guards once our economy uh, can handle it. Um, basically, it'll cost us, what, 8 units of this would be 10.04. Uh, we have the money now, but we also need to continue to upgrade uh, commanders, so we're going to balance that out. Uh, this is a temporary army we had. Um, we probably do need one just to defend uh, over our you know other territories, even though right now we are doing pretty well. Uh, in terms of how we're dealing with, you know, rebels. Uh, Zhang Jiao sometimes sends, you know, units down, so we're keeping one here. Uh, we're not at war with too many factions. Cao Cao is being super annoying, but that's typical. And Liu Zhang somehow don't like us. I guess we're getting too close to his boundaries here. And Han Sui is very weak, so we can ignore that. And also he's so far away from a, you know, a possible attack route to us that we're really not concerned. Um... Speaking of Liu Zhang, he has a force okay. wandering around. We're just going to let him, you know, do his thing. We're more interested in holding around in this area uh, because this is the most vulnerable. Uh, I think if we just park ourselves in the city, it will be fine. Uh, Jade Mai, Iron Mai are, tend to be a little bit more defensive, but we won't lose them right away. And we can run down if we need to. And the Lumbriar is the weakest point. And if we need to, we can run up. Um... Elsewhere, um, we are on track to declare war against uh, Dai Jinwan. Uh, we want to go take their uh, Dianye. Now, previously, I mentioned many, many times we wanted to make that our capital simply because we get 50% uh, income boost to all sources and also 100% additional income source to commerce, uh, to whatever our emperor seat is. But many of you have uh, let me know that since we are the kingdom of Chen and prince of Chen, that we should make Chen our capital, and I'm happy to uh, oblige, and uh, we will move once we have enough money uh, to move. Um, so right now, money is everything. Even though our economy is running really, really hot with 9k, uh, essentially 10k per turn, it's just that we have a lot of expense uh, still, so that we can't really uh, take care of our situation just yet. Not everything can go online at the same time. Uh, let's see, do we have any interesting characters? Okay, the eunuch have very good items. Uh, we're going to hire him for those items. And then say goodbye to him right after. Uh, the stone pig we're going to pass. Uh, one of them had a stone pig. Wait, I, I remember seeing a stone pig. There we go, yeah. I was like, not seeing things, am I? And... Yeah, we're going to pass on these characters, I feel like. Greedy is a little tough, um, but we're not really looking for wives at this point. Um, pretty happy with Liu Bei's tree here. Uh, plenty of kids, and probably not going to make too many family trees down here either. Um, most of the wives are not within our faction. Some of them are. Yeah, some of them are not in our faction. This one we married. Uh, and also, Zhang Yan is not our Grand Commandant. But he will be. Uh, right now, uh, Xun Shuang is taking that place. But he's 71. He will die. And once he dies, we'll put Zhang Yan there. Um, Alright, let's take care of our characters. So we have a level up over here. Um, we're just going to get her set up as a Simon character for now. And non-deployables right here. We'll take that, we'll take that. Do we have an administrator who need that? I think everyone has a pretty decent item already. We should have a, yeah, Guan Yu, yeah. They all have it, so we're just gonna keep it. And then we're gonna fire him, because we don't like Unix, and they do uh, cause a lot of issues, like increase your character salary by 10%. So we're just gonna release right here. And that's it. Let's take care of our uh, armies. So this war with them, I feel like the best move is to cut them off here first before launching a naval assault onto Jianye. Even though this is probably very weakly defended. 
Um, it's just safer that way, I feel like. I doubt he'll launch a counterattack, and if he does, it's not very significant. Uh, so we're going to head over here. We can reach it in two turns, so we're going to just go as far as we can. We're also trying to replenish for our new units. Ah, and they have an army here, so perfect. So let's wipe out this force first. A different Zhou Yu. <laughs> Not the more famous one. Oh, Chen Su. Okay, so this is Chen Deng's old faction. He probably don't like us very much, considering we wiped out his uh, old faction there. Uh, let's see how much building we have to go through, because that's going to determine how much money we have left for uh, unit upgrades. So here we're going the corruption reducing route. Uh, this is full build. This is full build. We don't have an entrepreneur yet. We will get one very soon. And that's about it. Uh, we just got to get the assignments in order. Not too many things to be built. Alright, let's see what's active and what's not. Beihai, Chen. Okay, so all the big money makers are working. Uh, let's see. Are we finally getting it down? Right. We actually don't need the assignment anymore. Even if we take the 15 away, we'll drop by 6 per turn. So, let's cancel this. Over here. It's just started, and it needs to go down quickly, and it will. Good. Uh, we don't control Pengcheng, so we can't do much about it. Uh, if we do control it, we can definitely take care of it. Um, elsewhere, uh, this is slightly disturbing, but it will fix itself once this goes down. That's the hopes. And uh, we need to boost the economy here. Um, probably industry. 3500 we might have a better one right 450 to we do we have a combo boost we don't oh we do we have joshan but he doesn't like it hmm a little picky here 270 340 all right so we want a commerce boost here we'll send him here He's here retiring till he dies, so we're just gonna let him do it. Um, what else? What else? Um, we have industry, commerce, peasantry. This is worth 200. This might be better. Yeah, this is probably the best one. But we, yeah, we have one. There we go. Alrighty. So we have all the assignments out of the way. We still have 9.9k, a little bit short of upgrading all the units. Um, let me think, what should we do? We don't really have any good options here. Right, long, yeah. I guess we'll keep this just because we are still frontline. Alright, so we don't have any way to make the units more, you know, experienced when we switch them. So let's just switch for them right now. Um, and then we'll switch four more next turn. Yeah, we don't have enough for the other four, so this is all we can do. Yeah, I'll let them stay here. They're not going to threaten anything. Uh, let's just continue. I think we're good. Alright, Don Zhuo is trying to pay us to take, take on a wife, take his daughter's wife. Um, I'm not interested. She's 17. We're 58. Just because we want a political... He wants a political marriage doesn't mean we have to say yes. Alright, Lu Zhu signed a peace treaty with Shi It's not like they can ever fight each other. Alright, um, settlement upgrade, settlement upgrade, death of Sun Tzu. Ah, he fell for the event too. So who's going to take over now? Lady Wu or Sun Quan? Cui Lie. Mm -hmm. 
Let's invoke council. Move to Chen Livestock Farm. Easy. Upgrade settlement again. Forge alliance with Liu Xun. Okay. Confucius Temple. Grain storage. Very awkward choices of buildings. Uh, we do need to summon an army here because we're back to farming rebels here very soon. So. John L can come out. Zhang He can come out. And Guan Yu can come out. These guys are dying on the bench. Uh, eventually we'll get them an army. Just not right now. Don't really see a... Not that we don't see a need. It's just that we don't know which direction we're going to expand to next. So we don't really have to summon them and give them an army right now. Um... All right, Yangzhou can, uh, it's still stuck with the fervor situation. What we need is upgrade this so that we can build, um, what do you call it? Uh, administrative office here. Uh, but this is super pricey. Give us a second. Let's see what else we need money first. Over here, uh, probably going to go the same route as we did uh, and go with the state workshop to reduce corruption. That seems to be the ideal build path now for peasantry. They could use a assignment, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, Yangzhou is just the expensive upgrade that we have to think about. Alright, we would like more food. And over here... Right, so here we have the option of making it a little bit more army summoning. Because we still have factions we would like to destroy in the future. Right now they're trade partners and happy with us, but who knows in the future. And we can also launch naval, like we can recruit an army here in the same county and then just send them down. So I think we should just go conscription here. All right, we have 8K left. He's going to land soon. We're going to bait him to land here. We will. Mm, I guess we won't switch these until next turn then. This army needs to go into ambush. Move them back a little bit. Hopefully, Xiaohuan and Xiaohuan falls for it. Unless they go for the fishing port, which would be interesting. We'll, we'll lose it and get it back. And since we're not building new armies, we can actually afford the upgrade here in Yangzhou. Where are you? There you go. Okay. We can start our war here with them. This should be an interesting fight. They have a lot of men. But we also have a pretty nice army. We could wait one more turn, to be honest, though. Let's get them fully ready. It's not going to change much. Uh, we can beat them without it. Let's march these three guys into... Oh, we should declare war first before we walk in. Hello. They should take away most of their ammo. Five shots. These should go to four. Okay. And then we'll take this fight to them. Valent defeat. I guess we are heavily outnumbered in this fight. Because the garrison's also really dense. Okay. I guess our level is also a bit low. And I don't think he has flaming shot. 
There are a lot of factors working against us, but this will make it interesting. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up here. Now our advantage is that they're stuck inside this area where they have to pack in pretty densely. I assume they're going to charge out, given how they have quite a sizable force. So we're going to have to pull pretty back. Uh, because he has that gold armor, um, it gives the whole army guerrilla deployment. So we actually can play around quite a bit with our deployment here. Um, let's see. The towers are not very annoying here. Maybe we just want to be in a more open area. All right, so it has to be one of these sides. We don't want too much trees blocking the way. I don't like how we're down slope here. It hurts our vision. We could also line up here, make them come out on two sides. Actually, that makes things a little... Mm. We can also go here. And then they have to come out this way. That other door is not really feasible for them. Alright, let's try that. Let's see how much distance we can get. We can go very far back if we wanted to can use these trees for our cavalry to hide in. Alright, let's do this. And if they don't come out, we can slowly inch up. It's not the big deal here. Alright. So we can't get Chen Royal Guards on these because he's only level 2. Once he hits level 3, we'll switch them. Okay. Uh, these guys can be in the front. And we'll hide our cavalry. Maybe here. Right, this creates an option that if, as they go over here, we can charge out and clear the flank. But then we don't get to use their crossbow properties. Mm, he doesn't have any damage skills. He has one, but we haven't been able to use it. Last time we tried, we got him routed. Zhou Tai can fight. Alright, let's go. Please come out. They're not coming out. Okay. That changes things. We can just move this army up like so. And if we take out the towers, I think they will come out. No one wants to duel. He wants... Okay. Zhou Yu. Let's draw him out then. I want him to offer us the duel and then we run back. It's the old trick of pulling the guy out. Come join the main army. No need to be split. I haven't found their... Oh, there's their siege weapon. Okay. 400 meters. We'll use our siege weapon as a guide. We should be able to outrange them. We might be able to pick it off before they can actually hit us. Not in range it? Alright, we'll run over there. We'll get shot by the tower a little bit. It's okay. We can zigzag a little over. Alright, we can dodge the arrows by looking at where the arrows are shooting at. Give us, offer us a duel. No? Uh, he's not going to offer it to us, so I guess we'll pull out to um, max range and then we'll offer it to him. Like now. Alright, we're in position. 
we're gonna inch these guys a little bit forward just so that we can try to pick off their unit um, probably here is fine we'll focus on the duel for now Our weapon's not that great, but our armor's outstanding. He has what? Sixty-five base, seventy base. So he actually has more armor than us, but he has less melee attack rate. Hmm. I think we'll win. Haven't thought about losing. All right, I think we inched up. We're gonna inch up closer. This tree is gonna be interesting. I don't know if we can launch over this tree, but if we can, you know, if we can break that, it would be really, really good. These two guys are friends. This guy has no relationship. That didn't that didn't hit him. No damage. But I think we got him. Zhou Tai versus Zhou Yu. Just not the Zhou Yu that we thought. Finish him. There we go. Alright. Back on your horse. You're getting shot, you're getting shot. Yeah, the accuracy of those arrows are amazing. Alright. We're out of there. One general down. Our reinforcements are coming. Alright, let's try if we can hit them. That tree is kind of worrying me, but maybe. Well, at least we know they can't hit back. We didn't destroy any this time. Yeah, we're slowly losing camera because um, our only guy close enough is leaving. That's okay. We can tell if they still are alive. They still have four machines. Hmm. One advantage is we just have so much ammo, it just doesn't matter. Oh, we hit one. There we go. Oh, she's moving forward. They're losing. Okay, they lost another one. Good. Okay, they're going to route. Please do. Yeah, all right. All right, now we gotta wait to see if they will come out or not. And we'll do that by moving us up closer. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna move everyone up closer then. Okay. 
Yeah, I think as long as we don't destroy these, they won't come out. But I think I want them to come out, even though they have so many men. Alright, we're good to go. Let's pop down these towers. Oh, the accuracy is not bad for level 3, level 4 tribuchets. Okay. Are they coming out? They're not. That's very stubborn of you. We're just gonna smash this area. What is the AI logic here? Don't come out without tower defense. Have more men than us. AI think you guys are gonna win. But they're not coming out to try to win. Well. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they're not coming out, so we can make the outrageous push forward. We don't have that many, you know, ammo to kill everyone there. 7,000 men inside. We have to force them into that choke somehow. Really? Still not coming out? Interesting. Okay. Alright, if that's the case, we're going to let them use up their ammo first. That way we have just, you know, cavalry afterward. How close? Yeah, you guys are in range. Yeah, start firing. Wait, these guys, these guys. Very slow firing rate, I have to say. It's going to take forever for them to use up all their ammo. Might as well send them up to use up their ammo too. This has turned out to be quite the slow siege. Okay, those are great hits. Oh? Oh, they're not coming out. I was excited for a second. 
I mean, at this point, them not coming out is just ridiculous. Like, do they know we have not enough ammo to kill all of them? Is that why they're staying inside? Still have eight shots on the tribuches. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, don't get too excited. Oh, they joined the fun too, huh? Let's go up. Here comes the real damage. Yeah, just shoot at whoever you want. We'll control these guys. Control the door. Damage is pretty significant. Mm. I'm to pull them over. Mm, this is just the field day right here. But they have so many men. Seven thousand. These are all bodies. And oh, here, here, here comes. Charge out. Yeah, come on. All right, they're done. All right. Strike team ready. We're going in. We're going to get them lined up here and let them just start firing at the people coming in. Uh, maybe we'll wait a little bit. Oh, 
Alright. We'll let these guys murder everyone. Yeah. Your shield's pointed the wrong way. That's why we move, move to the flanks. Oh. They had enough. Ah, uh, too much, too many arrows. Get the guys from behind, not the guys who are. Yeah, there you go. Alright. You're good. Alright, these are officially cavalries now. Once these guys all die off, we'll charge in and kill off all the archers. Or we can go flank right now. Hmm. It's tempting. It's kind of far though. So many bodies here. She's the leader of the faction, Daijima. Oh, we're killing our own guys, guys. This is not ideal. Alright, you guys did your job. There's no more cavalry inside. Massacre this group, please. Dude, they have to kill everyone. Look at that. Oh, that poor guy. It's gonna take the whole full volley. care of the archers we'll take care of her might as well grab him in here uh, if you used up your ammo take care of that if you still have ammo shoot them you guys are good to go hide to the side it's okay you guys got 60 percent range block chance just go for it I like how they're wearing white they're ready for the funeral oh Chinese funerals are you wear white 
They're called uh, white events, and uh, weddings are called red events. Alright, not bad. Look at all the damage we did. Death Valley here. Alright, that ate up our whole episode. Uh, a lot of time, but, you know, a lot of men to go through. Really got to display our, you know, superior range units. 113 fortitude. This is nuts how much casualties we caused. Ooh, not a bad item. Okay, we got that nice armor as well. And we can kill him for this as well. Perfect. Alrighty. Uh, he's going to work his way to getting a uh, flaming shot. Uh, we might as well upgrade and get the more e extra food here. So now we can sail down and take the capital, uh, their capital, and also the salt mine and copper mine for income. Alright, that's taken care of. Um, waiting for them to fall for that trap. And uh, rebel farming here before we decide where to summon a third army. And we can actually save some money going forward. Let's see. We have been going all over the place here. We started picking up some of these uh, more essential um, uh, industry reforms. We probably need this one because our goal is to get this building um, on all our uh, peasantry commanders as well. So we're going to go down the list here and go towards that. Uh, this might allow for upgrading Yangzhou, but Yangzhou is currently busy. Yeah, uh, and we also don't have money. So that solves itself. Let's see what the Xiaohe brother is going to do. Uh, we don't have strong generals here. That's the one issue. To fight them in a duel. We might just have to mow them down with arrows. But let's see. Let's go. Alright, Yuan Shu wants legitimacy. Of course, we're not going to give it to him. Alrighty. Dong Zhuo signs a peace treaty with Jin Xuan, Wang Rui. Sun Ce dies, so the mom is taking over. Okay, Lady Wu. Well, Lady Wu tends to be a little bit softer on diplomacy. So that's not a bad development for us. Let's see. 56. Nah, not, nothing too special about her. 20 year old. Oh, he's not bad. We could consider him if we need a general in the future. Especially for uh, rebel farming. But not right now. Right now we have to deal with Tal Tal's mess. Um, we're just going to do a slam on characters for now. Yeah, Tal Tal has uh, landed. And they grouped together. We do have night battles, so we could pick them off one at a time. The army quality is really bad. The general quality is amazing. Yeah. He can't escape. We might not do night battle though. That way, that army can never run away. We can drag both of them in together. We're slightly outnumbered, but not a big deal. They have four cavalry, but I don't think they can get close enough. Alright, let's fight the Xiaohe brothers. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Uh, it's foggy, so that's not good. You know, we can't see half of their army, but judging by how they're positioning, they're all here, just we can't see them, and they're going for the meetup before fighting us. Now, we're not going to pull too far back, because they if it's better if they don't meet up, and we crush one first. So we want to be in striking range from the beginning. Something like that. We're going to learn our lesson and hide our weakest unit in the interior. Last time they got crushed by the cavalrys. And then for these guys, we're going to divide them up into three groups. Uh, one group on the side. Maybe like this. Actually, we have guys with guerrilla deployment, so we can actually stretch them out. One group here. One group covering the front. 
and one group right here. Alright, this way so that when we get charged anywhere, the other guys can still fire to the side. And we have a really nice ability on him, so maybe we can snipe the enemy general with that ability. And we also have a very nice bow. They will hanker down in the middle here, and he'll stay in the back. And I think we'll be good. We don't really care about the reinforcements. Uh, we didn't group these. Right, this way we are forced them to not be able to meet up first and we can just pound them from the beginning. Where's the generals? It doesn't matter. Our cooldown is really low. This we just gotta watch out for. I don't like how they don't have a range indicator on these. Alright, as they enter, we're not going to micro these. One, they're very high level, so we don't really need to micro them. Two, I really want to micro Liotron here. We'll see if we'll snipe him. Maybe give him that one eye that he needs. Find an opening over here. We need him to not move. Mm, do we want an angry Sa Ho Yuan or angry Sa Ho Dun? Probably angry Sa Ho Yuan. Let's see if we can hit him. Alright, we're moving into range. He's in range. Time to fire. It's a straight line shot. It'd be better if we're in front of him like this. There we go, there we go. Oh, we hit him. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we're gonna pull away for now. We have our own crossbow too. We need they're waiting for their reinforcement, that's why they're not moving. We can stay in this little forest for a little bit. They're lining up. We might hit him too. He's at 40. We'll see if we can pierce through him. Alright, he dropped from 45 to 31. He, he didn't get hit, so it didn't pierce through him. Right, these guys are not going to hit us. When are they going to charge? Are they really going to wait for the reinforcement to all get here? Let's destroy their tower. Maybe that's what's stopping them. Oh, oh. Hold on. And the way they're positioning, we might want to tilt. There we go. Honestly, you guys... I mean, if we shoot you with this, you'll lose morale too. It's definitely not a strong tale of arrows. We kill what? 21 guys? It's definitely more of a counter general type of mechanic. Alright, can we crush that? So they'll start charging? Ooh, he might be in trouble. Alright. We're leaving. Enemy cavalry gets dangerous.
Yeah, we wasted a lot of ammo firing at nothing. I thought I turned off the manual shots, but apparently not. Alright, it's burning. We can stop. Just run back. Get back to safety. Let them charge us. Yeah, I don't think they're going to cut us off. Oh, we're getting charged. We're getting charged. Oh, that's not worth it. I don't want to get caught by that. I'm gonna hold my ammo. That's too tempting. Yeah, that was too tempting. Oh, keep moving, keep moving. What am I doing? 65, 66, assuming we're not tired, but I think we are. Uh, can we come rescue him? Keep moving. Rally. Alright, that's good. We just want to rescue our lord. Wow. How can we not fire that? Doesn't matter if you're a loose formation, you have so many men together. Alright, we're back. Liu Trung can go harass them again. Are they really not going to charge forward? What's wrong with the AI today? First it was the farmland battle and then it's this one. They're charging. Finally. <laughs> I like how they went after the generals first. Alright, Sao Dun is gone. Oh. oh, we sniped him. With our crossbow. Okay. Sao Yun is next. He's angry at us. He's charging at us. Wait, did we use it? Oh, there we go. All right, good luck against our crossbows. The cavalry are coming soon, hopefully. I'm gonna send them over with Bojun. They're the only ones that really need to get hit. These guys will never make it. How are they still running up?
Right, go home. Alright, can they make it? That's the thing. Gotta wait till they turn white just to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. Just the generals now. They're gonna get killed by the crossbowmen too. So brave. Routed? There we go. Alrighty. Let's see if we capture any of the Saho brothers. Nope. Oh, we got an item. Maybe capture. Ah, uh, he won't let us employ him. Don't worry. We'll let him go. We'll give him another chance. Uh, Zhang Xuan. Uh, he would be an excellent spy, but I'm not sure if he can spy for us. We can check. We can always check. Alright, not a man wasted. Uh, what we can do is just keep chasing them. Since they're, they already both retreated, it's over after this fight. Uh, no generals, we're just going to delegate this. Somehow we lost 76 men. Oh, play from the city garrison. Right. Did we lose any here? No. Okay, that's clean. Uh, income? Alright. They're going to be paying for our Chen Royal Guards. There we go. Alright, they still have another army coming. Cao Ang. Tian Yu. Hao Meng. Hao Meng. Oh, Hao Meng has the best name. Um, Zhang Jiao seems to be no longer sending any naval attacks, but just in case, we'll keep this uh, militia army here. Let's see. Let's continue to upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we can get. The one we want yet. Yep. Alright, which is our tall? This one should go tall. Is don't go yeah, don't we're we're waiting on this basically. We don't have the reform yet. Alright, so we're getting that next. Even though we need this as well. Ah, waiting for reforms. What a pain. Um, we looked at both of those. Check on our spy. Nearing full points with Yuan Shu. Um, administrative, but not in the family yet. We can pursue a ministerial appointment. Maybe he'll offer it to her. 
Might as well use that point. And let's see. Cao Ren. Yeah, Cao Cao sure knows how to get on my nerves. I don't know if we can go into the water with Cao Ren right here. He could just land on the other side. We need to lure him into a fight. Alright, so if we put our army here, close enough to them on land, and then we ambush this army right behind, get rid of them, and then we can launch the attack. Perfect. Rebels, three turns? Okay. Lilian's armies have left. We don't really have to mine them. I think we're good. I think we can just continue here. Oh, and I thought Lady Wu was going to be kind and gentle. But they have declared war on us. Sure. Uh, Non-aggression pack with Bian Zhang's faction. I don't think we'll mind it. Yeah, you guys are not really a main concern here. If they're willing to pay for it. Oh, they don't have per turn payment. Nor do they want to be our vassal. Do you guys have any items by any chance? Nope. Uh, fine, we'll take your payment. 27. Hold on, just, just to check. Maybe it drops really fast? Ah, uh, not fast enough. Alright, we'll take it. Alright, Lady Wu declare war on us. I don't know why. We haven't even crossed the river yet. Yuan Shu request Lady Wu. They're friends? Well, Lady Wu's getting attacked on all sides. Okay. Well, they didn't fall for it. They didn't fall for it. But we need to get rid of them before we can cross, and they're just getting stronger by the day. That's fine. It'll just be a slightly longer siege. Uh, Cao An's army has uh, foolishly landed. We're going to wipe them out pretty easily. Um, we're going to end our episode here, though. We didn't get to do actually take many turns because we had two really long fights just sluggish fights um where we flexed our you know range advantage but the ai was just reluctant to come in to take a shower with our arrows uh, understandable uh, but we're going to pick up things uh, by taking care of this last army here that should free up our main armies to move away from this area in general we can leave the entire peninsula to them for defense um, by them i mean um Zhao Qian, Cai Yong, and basically nobodies. Uh, they're just here temporarily. Um, we're going to launch them maybe through a naval route to go meet us down here. Especially if Sun Ce and Cao Cao are oh, Lady Wu and Cao Cao are both at war with us. We might actually just sail all the way down and we can declare war on you know all these factions here. This is uh, Liu Hong's old faction. We can cancel this ahead of time. We're going to be making a th southern push with both of our armies, and then we can recruit a new army back at home to take care of our territory. As long as the old turbans are alive, I feel like the north is not going to make any moves against us. And we are currently very friendly with pretty much everyone, even the one who's declared war on us. We're friends with them, um, so not a big deal. Um, we can see if we can end any wars right now. Well, they definitely want to end, uh, but it looks like we have the opportunity to actually take control of the entire south with both of them joining the war against us. So not looking so bad here. Um, we'll pick it up from uh, here next time. See you guys then. Bye.